everything we know about Noah, the protagonist of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. We are less than a month away from the premiere of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, a movie that will try to reboot this universe and expand the stories of Caesar's descendants. But what do we know about Noah, the main character of this new story? Will he be a descendant of Caesar? Is his fight one of revenge? In this video, we'll be talking about everything we know so far about Noah and all the theories surrounding this character in preparation for the release of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And for more videos from this universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Let's first talk about Noah's origin. He belongs to a unique and fascinating tribe known as the Eagle Clan. This ape community is distinguished by its close connection to nature and its dedication to preserving ancient traditions and rituals. Unlike the technologically advanced tribe led by Proximus Caesar, the Eagle Clan has opted for a simpler lifestyle, living in harmony with the natural world around them. Their existence revolves around peaceful coexistence with the elements and the creatures that inhabit their environment. One of the most significant rituals for the Eagle Clan is the process of taming eagles. This ancient rite of passage is central to their culture and is considered an important point in the life of every member of the tribe. Through this ritual, the apes not only demonstrate their bravery and skill, but also forge a deep and lasting bond with these majestic birds. Mastering the eagles is no easy task and requires patience, understanding, and respect for nature. Clan members must learn to communicate with the birds gain their trust, and form a symbiotic relationship based on mutual trust. This process not only allows the apes to take advantage of the eagle's hunting skills and keen eyesight, but also gives them a sense of identity and belonging within their community. According to news reports, Noah's parents are important people in their clan and have raised Noah following strict laws, such as the law of not helping humans. We also know that the Eagles clan is one that has isolated itself from Caesar's teachings, that they don't know what happened in the past, and they view reality from a more mystical point of view. Noah is unaware of the world. He only knows what his parents have told him. The Eagle clan inhabits trees and houses created in nature. However, they represent a problem for Proximus Caesar. Proximus Caesar will be the villain in the story, and is perhaps the most interesting character in this film. He is an extremely intelligent bonobo who has studied the history of humans since their inception. The Eagle Clan represents a threat to Proximus Caesar's desire for expansion, who carries Caesar's banner and wishes to expand his ideology in the world. Now, according to what we know, Noah's tribe will be attacked by Proximus Caesar's tribe and this will cause many people from Noah's family to lose their lives. According to some scenes released at the CinemaCon, it was revealed that Noah's parents suffered the attack of Proximus Caesar. The mother is kidnapped, and the father loses his life. This will happen at the beginning of the movie. Then, Noah will have to go to a place that until then had been off-limits to him, the Forbidden Zone. According to the Eagle Clan, Humans and apes cannot coexist because humans are destructive. Ape law forbids them from interacting or allying with humans. However, Noah will meet Raka. Raka is a historian ape who is possibly part of the Proximus Caesar clan. This ape is protecting May, an intelligent human who has also lost everything. As someone who possesses extensive knowledge about the history of apes and humans, Raka is in a unique position to guide Noah and reveal to him the true history of Caesar. Raka is likely to act as a mentor figure for Noah, helping him understand his place in the grand scheme of things and the meaning behind the mark on his chest that connects him to Caesar. Through Raka's teachings and wisdom, Noah could begin to understand the importance of his lineage and how Caesar's actions have shaped the world they live in. Raka could share with Noah Caesar's struggles and triumphs, highlighting his focus on peaceful coexistence and mutual understanding between apes and humans. 
These lessons could be pivotal for Noah to develop his own approach to deal with Proximus Caesar and the challenges that await him. In addition to being a source of knowledge, Raqqa could also serve as a moral compass for Noah. As someone who has chosen to protect May, an intelligent human, despite his own clan's beliefs, Raqqa demonstrates compassion and an open mind. In a revealed scene, we could see that Raqqa gives May a blanket, but Noah didn't want to give it to her. Both Proximus Caesar and Noah despise humans, but it will be in Raqqa's hands to convince Noah to choose a different path, Caesar's path. Both Noah and May have lost their families and possibly will fight against Proximus Caesar for the same reasons. However, Noah's story is much more complicated than a simple revenge story. As we see in the trailers that Proximus Caesar tries to recruit him for his group, and we also see that Raka tells him Caesar's story as well. In the previous films of the Planet of the Apes trilogy, Caesar fought tirelessly to bring about a peaceful coexistence between apes and humans. His vision was of a world where both species could live in harmony, respecting each other, and learning from each other. Caesar grew up under the care of compassionate humans, who taught him the value of empathy and understanding. These formative experiences shaped his perspective and led him to believe that peace was possible despite differences. Even when he was forced to lead a revolution against human oppression, Caesar always sought coexistence rather than domination. If we look at Noah's chest, we can see that he bears a mark similar to Caesar's, which could indicate that he is one of his descendants. This means that Noah's story will start as a story of revenge, but will end up being a story of self-discovery, where this ape discovers his connection to Caesar and how he must face the villain of the story. This means Noah's story will start as a story of revenge and contempt against humans, but he will end up becoming the hero and continue the legacy of his ancestors, or at least this is what we believe will happen with Noah in the story. In our next video, we will be analyzing everything we know about Proximus Caesar, who we think will be one of the best villains in the history of Planet of the Apes. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you already want to see Noah? Do you think he's Caesar's descendant? And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.